Russia is approaching Kharkiv. The situation is worse than it should have been. Washington Post. Ukraine is preparing for a Russian offensive in the spring or summer centered on the Donbass. This attack may yet take place, but at the same time, Russian troops carried out a surprise cross-border assault in the Kharkiv region. As stated in the Washington Post, five Russian battalions managed to advance almost eight kilometers deep into Ukraine in just a few days, capturing a number of villages. This could be Russia's fastest offensive since the start of the war. If the Russians continue their offensive, they will again be able to reach Kharkiv with artillery. The scars of Russian artillery strikes on Kharkiv in 2022 are still visible on the outskirts of the million-plus city. The publication notes that it would be terrible if these Russian attacks were repeated. The worst scenario would be the fall of Kharkiv. This is still unlikely, but in order to save the city, Ukraine has to withdraw troops from Donbass to make it easier for the Russians to advance in this region. The publication writes, Russia's success can be attributed to a combination of Russian military prowess and Ukrainian and US blunders. Russian troops improved their fighting qualities from the first days of the war and adapted to the conditions on the battlefield. Most importantly, they used heavy glide bombs to break up the Ukrainian lines. Meanwhile, Ukraine's armed forces have suffered greatly due to the long delay in US aid. Russia had a 10 to 1 advantage in artillery ammunition. In addition, Ukraine was running low on air defense ammunition. Ukraine's failure to provide adequate air defense for frontline troops means that Russia has been able to make significant use of air power for the first time. American ammunition and weapons are finally arriving in Ukraine, but it will take months to properly supply all Ukrainian forces. This creates a window of vulnerability that the Russians exploit. While Russia has significantly increased the number of its troops in and around Ukraine to almost 500,000, Ukraine still only has about 200,000 troops at the front. Many units that have been fighting continuously for more than two years have been severely depleted. The publication notes. Putin replaced Shoigu from defense minister position to support protracted war in Ukraine. ISW. The Institute for the Study of War, ISW, believes that Russian leader Vladimir Putin is making replacements, including in the Russian Defense Ministry, to step up preparations for a protracted war in Ukraine and possibly preparing for a future confrontation with NATO. Putin replaced Sergei Shoigu with Andrei Belusov as the Russian Defense Minister on the 12th of May, transferring Shoigu to the position of Secretary of Russia's Security Council to replace Nikolai Patrushev. ISW believes that these high-level reshuffles following the presidential elections in Russia convincingly indicate that Putin is taking significant steps toward mobilizing the Russian economy and defense industrial base to support a protracted war in Ukraine and possibly prepare for a future confrontation with NATO. The ISW added that Belusov's nearly decade-long tenure as an economy minister in the Russian government and his recent involvement in managing various innovative domestic defense industry and drone projects has prepared him well to lead the Russian Defense Ministry apparatus, which is currently in a challenging position. Belusov has a stronger reputation for being an effective technocrat, and insider sources have claimed that he has a positive relationship with Putin, the report stated. The ISW added that replacing Shoigu with Patrushev as the Secretary of the Security Council aligns with Putin's overall policy of quietly displacing high-ranking security officials by giving them peripheral roles in the Russian security sphere instead of simply dismissing them. The ISW noted that previously Putin similarly sidelined his underperforming generals by appointing them to peripheral security and defense related positions outside the direct chain of command, sometimes allowing them to redeem themselves and return to Putin's favor. In addition to Patrushev's dismissal, Putin mostly reshuffled the heads of the major Russian security services, indicating that he retains a, co a core of loyal security officials. Я, ну так, собственные персоны шлять по Украине. Он ваш идет. А вон наша доблестная техника подбита. Нашли! Нашли.
бежит, мне его хоть догнать. Я старенький уже стал. Давай.